Is the Kingdom anime good? The short answer is yes. Anime have a lot of advantages, but I personally started with the manga. Voice acting, music, color, and animation are main draws for me in an anime, but a lot of times I find myself going to the manga instead. I have two big reasons for reading manga over an anime. The first is that it is completely canon if it is the source material. I don't have to worry about filler or changes to the story. The second is that I can consume the story at a faster pace than I could when watching the anime. With an anime, I have to sit down for around 25 minutes and in one sitting to get the best experience. With a manga, there are many more stopping points in between what would amount to an anime episode, and I can consume that same story at a much faster rate without losing anything. Anime usually adapt around 2 chapters per episode. In the span of one episode, I could read 4 or more chapters worth of a story. The reason I didn't stick with the Kingdom manga is because it removed the most important strength towards the manga, and that's the pacing. I talked about this in more detail in my dialogue video, but there were times where the immense amount of dialogue would kill my reading pace along with my interest and desire to continue. But I wanted to see what made this manga so popular, and I was enjoying the well-paced parts, so I weighed the options. Not only did the manga frequently lose my strongest reason for reading over watching, but the early art was not as good as the animes. So the manga's only advantage was being fully canon, while the anime not only had the previously mentioned color, sound, and animation, but it would also be paced better due to the cutting of dialogue. The choice was easy for me. But why do many people put down the anime? The biggest issue that people have with the anime is that it's mostly 3D rather than 2D. While this was a little off-putting, it really wasn't that bad. The model's lip sync looked a little awkward, the animation was a little subpar at times, and the characters looked strange from certain angles but none of this was enough to turn me away. The battle animation was nothing to write home about, but it didn't need to be. The spectacle from the fights aren't the individual attacks, but the overall tactics and strategies used by the generals. After a few episodes, I got used to the 3D, and when season 2 switched to 2D, I had mixed feelings. While it became easier to recommend, sometimes the characters looked off model or lackluster, something that would have never happened with the 3D. The first section had its charm, and is definitely worth the watch. There are scenes where the voice acting, animation, and music all came together to give me chills. There are plenty of scenes that got me hype as if I was watching one of the big three. The first season is absolutely worth watching. I believe snobbish and entitled fans are writing it off simply because it isn't animated like anime usually is. But animation is just icing on the cake. The cake is the most important part. One day, I'll make a video talking about how valuable or important animation really is in anime. But I believe Kingdom has an amazing cake. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my manga for free online. If you enjoy my content, please consider donating to my Patreon. All important links will be in the description.